What's going down YouTube? It's your boy C Mate KJ here with another banger. As you can tell by the title, this video will be about the different ways that you can tie your do rag. But before this video starts, I will want to give a disclaimer that there are probably hundreds of different ways that you can tie your do rag. Just wanted to get that up out the way before we started, but without any further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, for starters, we're just gonna do the regular basic. So you just take your do rag. Okay, so I'm using a random silky. Just take it, put it behind. Okay, and then you just wanna grab one, open it, put it around like that. Leave the one that you just put behind your ear, leave it, get the other one, and just repeat the same process. And then you're gonna wanna take it, pull it like outwards, and do a sh shoestring tie. Okay, after you do that, it might be a little like that. So, what I do is I just take the back and just pull it down just to make the do rag tighter. So this is probably the most common way to do it. That being said, on to the next method. For the next method, we will have the do rag tied in the front just like this. And I'm gonna call this the ski mask, the slum god method. Basically start it off the same, you put both behind your ear. You'll take one of them this time, go all the way around once, and leave this in front of your ear. And you take the other one, and you go around. But this time you're not gonna go one whole one, you're just gonna have them meet. And what I do is, I just see this, I'll go over, and then I'll just tie it one time in a knot. Then I'll probably switch them, because this one is gonna be end up longer, obviously. You just tie those two together. And adjust it to how you want it. So this is the second method. Ski master slum guy on to the third method. For the third method, we'll be doing my favorite method out of them all, and that is called double compressing. Now, this is for when you're wolfing, you need to lay down your hair. So basically, what I do is I take a stocking cap, or I'll use my booboo cap in this case, and I just line it up with my do-rag. Now here's the key. The booboo -boo cap, with the booboo -boo cap, you have a lot of room to work with. So what I do is I Pull it all the way down. Look at this dude. Just to make sure the top is like tight and then I'll roll it back up. And when I roll it back up, I flip it inside out. I flip the band inside out. And then what you'll do is you'll pull the do-rag out a little bit. Okay, fold it and just tie it like how you would do your regular do-rag. But this is double compressing. On to the fourth method, man. Last but not least, you have the no knot method. Now, if you want me to be completely honest, me personally, I never use this method and I I don't really like it that much, but it's only because I've only done it one time. But I'll basically show you how to do it. You'll um, basically start off how you would normally put, put it behind your ears. You're gonna wrap it around like how you normally do. But this time, leave it, like leave both of them right behind your ear. Okay, just like that. And now what I was, what I suggest for, if you're doing the no knot method, just leave the second one a little lower than the first one, just a little bit. So basically, you grab this, you pull it, Make sure this one is behind your ear, by the way. You pull it and you tuck it in under the fold that you did originally. And then you basically do the same thing. Pull, 
it's gonna make it tight so and then just tuck that in under also okay after you do that this is basically how the bag looks just to show you but this is the no knot method but that was it for the video i thank all you guys for supporting me all my 90 some subscribers right now give me the 100 subscribers by the end of the night um follow me on instagram at cmakej thanks for all the support uh do me a favor leave a like comment subscribe share with your friends thanks for tuning into the video until next time